Right now, the world's paying a lot of attention to the disaster going on in Japan. So we wanted to put the spotlight on something positive, contemporary Japanese art. There's an amazing collection you can see at the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts. Welcome to the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts. This is the Joy Light Gallery of Asian Art. It's a brand new gallery that we opened this past fall. Right now, the exhibition we are featuring here is called Yukioe Redux. Uh, it is a Japanese printmaking. It's the history of um, the Japanese printmaking and the rebirth of it. Meaning, um, at some point, there was a little bit of a Western influence. We started actually practicing printmaking here in the United States. And that influence started traveling back to Japan, and they started reinventing um, their methods in terms of Japanese woodblock printing. What is impressive with this style of artwork is that most people would look at this and, and then, well, maybe it's a photography, maybe it's a watercolor or some kind of oil painting. But what's significant about this particular style of artwork is that Japanese wood blocks is literally pretty much what it sounds like. The artwork was actually carved into a wood block and basically utilizes a stamp to be able to create absolutely intricately beautiful artwork like this. Um, it's a very ornate and very dedicated um, art form to be able to practice. It's quite difficult to work with. And what makes this unique is that not only was it used for art's sake, but especially during uh, you know, the 19th, 20th century, a, a lot of the Chinese woodblock printing was utilized um, for advertising purposes, uh, whether it was in support or not in support of the political party at the time a lot of woodblock uh, printing was utilized to be able to basically come up with advertisements um, and propaganda pieces. Uh, this is only the second exhibition that we've had here at the Joy Light Gallery of Asian Art, as I mentioned, and did just open up in the fall. Uh, so it's a really a op wonderful opportunity to be able to become more familiar with uh, ancient yet still very much used style of Japanese woodblock printing. Uh, this gallery space is actually was built in honor of Joy Light. Um, her husband Timothy Light actually uh, came to the KIA with the idea of being able to build a gallery space dedicated specifically to Asian art which is something him and his wife have been collecting for years. I actually call it the uh, Taj Mahal of Kalamazoo. What a wonderful honor for your wife to open up an actual gallery space for her. Kalamazoo Institute of Arts is typically known for our 18th and 19th century, 20th century American art, but we also feature a lot of other different styles of art here. Aside from Asian art, we also have pre-Columbian gold and African American art and a lot of other mediums, so it's not just um, relegated to just American art here. As I mentioned, UKOA Redux is open until mid-April. We encourage you to come down to the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts and visit the brand new Joy Light Gallery of Asian Art and learn a little bit more about a very difficult medium called Japanese wood block printing. The exhibit is up through April 23rd at the KIA and there's no charge to see it. The KIA located in downtown Kalamazoo and of course there are the hours. A great place to visit. Sure is. Thank you so much for visiting with us for this past hour. Stay with. Uh -huh.